Tonight on It's the Law, there is possibly nothing as stressful as dealing with the death of a loved one. But that stress can double when there's a family feud over that loved one's will. We have a viewer question on this. They write, my grandfather had a will that he made up before he passed away, and he left it with my step-grandmother. Now she does not want to give my dad, my grandfather's son, a copy of it. How can my father get a copy of the will to see what he's entitled to if my grandfather left it for her? And attorney Jay Davis joins us with some answers to this question. So does the son of the deceased have a legal right to see what's in that will if his name is in it? Any heir has a legal right to see the will and the will is no good until it's probated. So it doesn't okay. matter what the will says, the probate has a method to determine if it's a valid will. Otherwise the heirs get it in Georgia, that's the spouse and any living uh, or any children. Okay, now the deceased apparently told the father before he died that his that his son's name was in the will. So the son is saying, if my name's in the will, I need to see it. How can families avoid this type of conflict? This type well, of I wish it were avoidable, but the, the problem is, is there's something about the death of a loved one that the, the people that that person loved seemed to feud over whatever that person had. Mm -hmm. And that's apparently been going on since the beginning of time. Well, yeah, and it's, it's interesting <laughs> because it's such a sad, stressful time that it can also, it can bring out the worst in some people. Yes. And I've seen, you know, in my family, for example, you know, my family, I've been lucky in the fact that, you know, and during the death of my grandmother a few years ago, we, you know, everybody, we, everyone was amazed at how we handled that because it was, you know, we weren't, we didn't feud or like Right. This. There's occasions where it goes very well, but other occasions where it doesn't. And it's that stressful situation that just kind of brings out the worst in right. people. So if this but, family were to sue for a copy of that the, will. The thing this right? family needs to do is not suing for a copy of the will. The first thing to do is request a copy from her. If she refuses to give that copy, I'd do it through a letter or something like that. The next thing you do is begin to probate the estate as if it was if there was no will. And that sends her as an heir and anybody else a demand if there is a will to purport it to the, to the court. What do you because mean by probate the estate? Probate the estate is the beginning of an action that says that says this person has died and we're going to divide up the estate. Okay. Normally whoever's got the will would start the probate and if the will is not being probated, is not taken to the court for the court to determine whether or not it was valid, then it has no validity yet. It's just a piece of paper out there hanging around until it's, until it's validated by the court. Okay. And if these people began a process of just doing it as if it's, there is no will, an, an intestate estate, then they begin that process and they just make a demand on her to, to, to bring the will. Right. And if there is a will, and if it's deemed valid, then the terms of the will will be brought forth. All right, some great advice. Thank you, Jay, we sure appreciate thing. it. And if you have a legal question and you need it answered, you can let us know about it. You send an email to itsthelaw at 41nbc.com.